Have you ever wondered how far you could go if you had complete confidence in yourself? What makes some people face challenges with such calm? Today I will share how to build unshakable self-confidence that has supported me through difficult times based on my values, resilience and true humility that define me as a person. In this video, I have gathered 15 carefully selected lessons and quotes to help you discover self-confidence within yourself. These lessons, which were essential for me, are designed to offer support, motivation and hope, whether during personal difficulties, crises or when you need a boost to keep moving forward. Now, if you are new here, please like the video and subscribe. Statistics show that only 15% of my audience is subscribed to the channel, so if this content has helped you in any way, I ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, let's start this transformative journey together. 1. Working on self-confidence In the complex labyrinth of life, confidence is the compass that guides us, the light that dispels the shadows of fear and doubt. Developing self-confidence is an ongoing process that requires time, dedication and patience. For many, it may seem like an intangible concept, but self-confidence is a set of feelings and beliefs built over time through experiences and reflections. The path to personal confidence begins with a deep understanding of its meanings. Self-confidence involves both the belief in our specific abilities and a positive perception of our intrinsic worth. It does not mean the absence of fear or doubt, but the ability to act despite these feelings. It is the conviction that, regardless of the obstacles, we can overcome the challenges that arise on our path. For me, developing self-confidence began with small steps. I identified areas of my life where I felt most insecure and gradually worked on them. I set achievable goals and focused on small victories. Each small achievement, each step toward my larger goal, helped strengthen my confidence in myself. These successes, however minor, served as tangible reminders of my potential. Moreover, it is crucial to cultivate positive thoughts about ourselves. Often, we are our harshest critics, focusing on our failures and forgetting our accomplishments. Changing this perspective is essential. We must learn to value our achievements and recognize our qualities. One practice that helped me was keeping a gratitude journal where I noted my daily achievements and strengths. This simple yet powerful practice helped maintain a balanced view of myself and my self-esteem. Reflection is also fundamental. Setting aside time to review our experiences, identify our successes and learn from our mistakes helps us understand our progress better and adjust our strategies as needed. This continuous self-reflection allows us to see how much we have evolved and keeps us motivated to continue our journey of self-discovery. Finally, it is important to remember that self-confidence is built through experiences and continuous practice. Stepping out of our comfort zone, facing new challenges and being willing to learn from each experience are crucial steps in this process. By consistently working on our self-confidence, we begin to see challenges as growth opportunities, not as insurmountable obstacles. 2. Definition of self-confidence For me, self-confidence lies beyond my abilities or talents. It is an unshakable conviction in my capacity to face life's challenges. Self-confidence is the certainty that, regardless of adversities, I possess the internal resources to overcome them. This conviction is based on a deep understanding of our strengths and weaknesses and the acceptance that we can handle the unknown and adapt to changes. Defining self-confidence involves recognizing that it is multifaceted. It involves both self-efficacy, the belief that we can perform specific tasks, and self-esteem, the perception of our intrinsic worth. Self-efficacy develops through experiences and achievements. Each time we overcome a challenge, no matter how small, 
our confidence in our ability to face future difficulties increases. Self-esteem is fueled by self-acceptance and self-love, recognizing our worth regardless of our successes or failures. Additionally, self-confidence is deeply influenced by our thoughts and beliefs. Our perceptions of ourselves can be shaped by past experiences, the feedback we receive from others, and our reflections. Therefore, it is vital to cultivate positive and constructive thoughts about ourselves. Instead of focusing on failures and limitations, we should learn to value our achievements and qualities. An important part of developing self-confidence is self-reflection, taking time to evaluate our experiences, learn from our mistakes, and celebrate our successes helps us gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. Honest and objective self-assessment allows us to identify our strengths and areas for improvement and adjust our strategies to achieve continuous growth. Self-confidence also manifests in our ability to deal with uncertainty and the unknown. Facing new and challenging situations with an open and positive mindset allows us to expand our limits and develop new skills. Each time we overcome our fears and face the unknown, we strengthen our confidence in our ability to handle anything life presents. Finally, self-confidence is not static. It evolves with time and our experiences. Maintaining a continuous learning attitude, being open to new experiences, and constantly seeking self-development are essential for cultivating lasting self-confidence. By developing a positive view of ourselves and believing in our abilities, we create a solid foundation to face life's challenges with courage and determination. 3. Acceptance and Self-Acceptance I remember a time when, lost in a sea of insecurities, I found refuge in accepting myself. Accepting my imperfections, embracing my failures, and recognizing my limitations was the catalyst that transformed my doubts into certainties. Self-acceptance is the foundation upon which confidence is built. Self-acceptance is one of the most important pillars for developing self-confidence. Often, we are our harshest critics, focusing on our failures and forgetting our achievements. However, by practicing self-acceptance, we begin to change our perspective. Instead of focusing on our imperfections, we learn to see our intrinsic value. Self-acceptance involves recognizing that we are human and therefore susceptible to errors and failures. Instead of punishing ourselves for our mistakes, we should see them as opportunities for learning and growth. Each mistake is a valuable lesson that helps us improve and evolve. By embracing this mindset, we begin to view ourselves with more compassion and understanding, which, in turn, strengthens our self-confidence. Additionally, self-acceptance implies being honest with ourselves about our strengths and weaknesses. By recognizing our limitations, we can work to improve them while valuing and enhancing our qualities. This honesty with oneself is essential for building a solid foundation of self-confidence as it allows us to operate from a place of authenticity. Practicing self-acceptance also means being kind to ourselves. Often we treat others with more compassion and patience than we treat ourselves. It is important to remember that we deserve the same care and understanding that we offer to others. By cultivating this inner kindness, we create an internal environment that promotes confidence and well-being. Progressive Development of Confidence Self-confidence is not a divine gift granted once and for all, but a treasure cultivated day by day. Its progressive development requires patience, dedication, and above all, courage. Each small achievement, each step forward, strengthens my faith in myself. The development of self-confidence is a continuous process that requires time and effort. It is not something that can be achieved overnight, but through a series of small and consistent steps. Each small victory 
each obstacle overcome, contributes to building more robust and resilient confidence. One of the most effective ways to develop self-confidence is to set clear and achievable goals. By defining specific objectives and diligently working to achieve them, we begin to accumulate evidence of our abilities. These achievements, no matter how small, serve as tangible reminders of our potential and motivate us to keep moving forward. Additionally, it is important to step out of our comfort zone regularly. Facing new challenges and unfamiliar situations can be intimidating, but it is through these experiences that we grow and strengthen ourselves. Each time we challenge ourselves and overcome our limitations, we gain a new layer of confidence in our abilities. The practice of reflection is also crucial for the development of self-confidence. Setting aside time to review our experiences, identify our successes, and learn from our mistakes helps us understand our progress better and adjust our strategies as needed. This continuous self-reflection allows us to see how much we have evolved and keeps us motivated to continue our journey of self-discovery. Honest and Objective Self-Evaluation Honest and objective self-evaluation plays a crucial role in this process. Facing our sometimes relentless self-criticism in an attempt to improve and grow is essential. Honest and objective self-evaluation becomes a loyal ally, guiding us on a path of self-knowledge and continuous improvement. One of the keys to developing self-confidence is the ability to evaluate oneself honestly and objectively. This involves a deep analysis of our actions, thoughts and behaviours, recognising both our strengths and areas for improvement. Self-evaluation is a continuous process that helps us adjust our goals and strategies to achieve constant growth. To conduct effective self-evaluation, it is important to create a regular reflection environment. This can be done through practices like keeping a journal, meditating, or simply setting aside time to think about our experiences and decisions. By doing so, we begin to identify patterns in our behavior and better understand how we react to different situations. Additionally, honest self-evaluation requires an attitude of openness and a willingness to accept constructive criticism. Often we can be blind to our own faults and limitations, and this is where feedback from others can be extremely valuable. Seeking the opinions of mentors, colleagues or trusted friends can provide us with important insights into how we can improve and grow. Objective self-evaluation also involves being kind to oneself. It is easy to fall into the trap of destructive self-criticism where we excessively blame ourselves for our mistakes. However, it is important to remember that the goal of self-evaluation is not to punish ourselves, but to help us learn and evolve. By adopting a compassionate approach, we can focus on how we can improve instead of getting stuck in the past. Coup. Resilience in adversities. Shining in adversities is like navigating turbulent waters with the certainty that although the waves may hit us, we remain the captain of our ship. Resilience is the ability to adapt and grow in the face of difficulties, turning challenges into opportunities for learning and strengthening. Resilience is one of the most important qualities we can develop to build self-confidence. It is the ability to recover quickly from setbacks and keep moving forward even in the face of adversities. Resilience not only helps us face challenges with courage, but also strengthens our belief in our ability to overcome any obstacle. Developing resilience begins with a change in mindset. Instead of seeing challenges as threats, we should view them as growth opportunities. Each difficulty faced is a chance to learn something new about ourselves and develop new skills. Adopting this positive perspective allows us to deal with challenges more effectively and constructively. Additionally, resilience is strengthened through self-care. Maintaining healthy habits such as a balanced diet, 
physical exercise and adequate rest helps us maintain our energy and capacity to cope with stress. Taking care of our mental and emotional health through practices like meditation and therapy is also essential for developing robust resilience. Building a support network is another crucial aspect of resilience. Having people we can trust, whether family, friends or mentors, provides the emotional support needed to face difficult times. Sharing our difficulties and seeking advice can help us see situations from a new perspective and find solutions we may not have considered alone. To one authentic humility. The hidden power of humility is an invaluable treasure. True strength lies in recognizing our weaknesses and learning from them. Humility allows us to build solid and lasting relationships, opening space for continuous growth. Humility is a quality often misunderstood. It is not about belittling oneself or ignoring our achievements, but recognizing that there is always something to learn and that no one is perfect. Humility allows us to accept feedback, seek guidance and be open to new ideas, which is essential for personal growth and building self-confidence. Practicing humility begins with acknowledging our limitations. We all have weaknesses and areas where we can improve. Instead of seeing these limitations as failures, we should view them as learning opportunities. By recognizing our weaknesses, we take the first step to overcome them and become better versions of ourselves. Additionally, humility allows us to value the contributions of others. No one achieves success alone, and recognizing the role that other people play in our lives is fundamental. Appreciating and valuing those who help us along the way not only strengthens our relationships, but also reminds us of the importance of collaboration and teamwork. Humility also involves being honest with ourselves and others. Admitting our mistakes and taking responsibility for our actions is a sign of true strength. Instead of blaming others or circumstances, we should look within and identify how we can improve. This honesty creates a solid foundation of trust and respect, both internally and externally. 8. Honesty and Integrity the strength of honesty is like the wind that dissipates the clouds of deception, revealing the clarity of our actions and words. Living with integrity, being true to our values, strengthens our relationships and gives us unshakable confidence and deep inner peace. Honesty and integrity are fundamental to building lasting self-confidence. Being honest with ourselves and others creates a foundation of trust and respect that is essential for personal and professional growth. When we live according to our values and principles, we not only feel more aligned and authentic, but also gain the confidence of those around us. Living with integrity means acting according to our beliefs and values, even when it is difficult or inconvenient. This requires courage and determination, but the benefits are immense. By being consistent in our actions and words, we create a reputation for reliability and honesty that opens doors and strengthens our relationships. Honesty also involves being transparent about our failures and limitations. No one is perfect, and admitting our mistakes is a sign of maturity and self-awareness. When we are honest about our difficulties, we not only show others that we are human, but also create space for learning and continuous improvement. Additionally, integrity helps us make difficult decisions. Instead of being influenced by external pressures or momentary temptations, we can remain firm in our principles and values. This gives us a sense of security and confidence in our choices, knowing that we are acting according to what we believe is right. You have now reached the halfway mark of the video. I congratulate you for trying to become a better version of yourself. And I also humbly ask you to leave a comment as it helps my channel immensely. If you do not know what to comment, just write mind over body so I know you reached this far. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.
Also, I've linked some books on Stoicism that helped me become the man I am today and will also help you achieve a Stoic mindset. 9. Cultivating Daily Gratitude Cultivating daily gratitude is like nourishing the soul with morning dew, Appreciating the beauty in small details and being grateful for each experience transforms our perspective on life, bringing joy and serenity. Gratitude is a powerful practice that can transform our way of seeing the world and strengthen our self-confidence. By focusing on the good things in our lives instead of difficulties and challenges, we create a positive mindset that helps us face obstacles with more resilience and optimism. Practicing gratitude begins with small steps, dedicating a few minutes every day to reflect on the things we are grateful for can make a big difference. It can be something simple like appreciating the sunset, the kindness of a friend, or even the fact that we are healthy. By recognizing these small blessings, we start to change our perspective and see life more positively. Gratitude also helps us value our achievements and recognize our progress. Often we focus so much on our future goals that we forget to celebrate our accomplishments. By practicing gratitude, we learn to value each step we take towards our goals, strengthening our confidence and motivation. Additionally, expressing gratitude to others can strengthen our relationships and create a supportive environment. Showing appreciation for the contributions and support of those around us not only improves our mood, but also strengthens our bonds and reminds us that we are not alone in our journey. 10. Embracing change. Change is a constant in life and learning to embrace it is fundamental for growth. Adapting and evolving with transformations allows us to face life with resilience recognizing that each phase brings new opportunities. Accepting change is recognizing that life is in constant motion. Circumstances change, people evolve, and new situations arise all the time. Instead of resisting these changes, we can learn to accept them as a natural part of life. This acceptance allows us to face transitions with a positive and adaptable attitude. Adopting a growth mindset is crucial for embracing change. This means seeing challenges as opportunities for learning and development. Each new situation is a chance to acquire new skills, expand our knowledge and grow as individuals. Instead of fearing the unknown, we can open ourselves to the possibilities it brings. Flexibility is an essential skill for dealing with change. It involves the ability to adjust our plans and strategies as necessary. This can mean changing direction in our career, adopting new approaches in our relationships, or finding different ways to achieve our goals. Being flexible allows us to respond quickly to new circumstances and make the most of the opportunities that arise. Moreover, change often forces us to step out of our comfort zone. Although this can be uncomfortable, it is through these experiences that we grow and strengthen. Facing the unknown and overcoming our fears makes us more resilient and confident in our ability to handle any situation. Embracing change also involves letting go of what no longer serves us. This can be old habits, negative thoughts, or even relationships that hinder our growth. By letting go of what does not benefit us, we create space for new experiences and opportunities that will help us evolve. Finally, it is important to remember that change can be a positive force in our lives. Each phase of transformation brings the possibility of renewal and growth. By accepting and embracing change, we align ourselves with the dynamic nature of life and prepare to face the future with courage and resilience. 11. Facing your fears. Facing our fears is essential for personal growth. Identifying, understanding and confronting our fears can be a catalyst for developing solid self-esteem and unshakable confidence. We all have fears and they can be a significant obstacle to developing self-confidence. 
However, facing our fears head on is one of the most effective ways to overcome them and build unshakable confidence in our abilities. The first step to facing our fears is recognizing them. Often, we tend to ignore or suppress our fears, which only increases their intensity. By acknowledging our fears, we begin to understand them and find ways to confront them. Analyzing our fears rationally helps us see if they are truly as threatening as they seem. Often, our fears are exaggerated or unfounded, and by examining the logic behind them, we can reduce their intensity. This analysis can involve visualizing negative scenarios and preparing to deal with them, which can increase our resilience. Action is key to overcoming fears. We must challenge ourselves to face situations that scare us, even in small steps. Each time we face our fears, we gain confidence in our ability to handle them, and they become less intimidating. Facing our fears also requires action. Stoicism values constant practice and active effort to overcome challenges. I remember when I decided to face my fear of public speaking. Instead of avoiding situations that caused me anxiety, I began to actively seek opportunities to practice. I participated in meetings, presented projects, and even enrolled in a public speaking course. Each time I took the stage, my fear diminished a little more, and my confidence increased exponentially. The community also plays a vital role in this process. By sharing my fears with friends, family or mentors, I found support and encouragement. External perspective often offers valuable insights and helps us see our fears in a new light. I remember a conversation with a Stoic mentor who told me, courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to act despite it. These words resonated deeply with me and became a guiding mantra in moments of uncertainty. Additionally, facing our fears can inspire and empower others. By showing vulnerability and determination, we become examples of resilience and courage. I remember a colleague who faced a similar fear to mine. By sharing my experiences and strategies, I motivated him to face his fears as well. Together, we found strength in our shared journey. Finally, Stoicism teaches us to accept that fear is part of the human experience. Instead of trying to eliminate fear completely, we must learn to live with it in a healthy way. Stoic acceptance frees us from the constant struggle against fear, allowing us to act and grow despite it. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Facing your fears is a continuous journey of self-discovery and strengthening. Each fear overcome is a step towards a more robust self-esteem and unshakable confidence. 12. Practicing Self-Discipline Self-discipline involves the conscious choice to act according to our values and goals, even when it is difficult. Planning our time, resisting temptations, and taking care of ourselves are fundamental practices for maintaining focus and determination. Self-discipline is an essential virtue that empowers us to stay focused on our goals and take consistent steps to achieve them, even when we face distractions and challenges. It helps us establish a routine that allows us to keep moving forward regardless of external circumstances. The first step to practicing self-discipline is setting clear and achievable goals. Knowing exactly what we want to achieve gives us direction and purpose. However, setting goals is not enough. We must also commit to taking the necessary steps to reach them. This involves creating a detailed action plan where each step is carefully thought out and structured. Managing our time efficiently is crucial for self-discipline. We must learn to prioritize our tasks and avoid procrastination. This can be done through time management techniques such as creating daily to-do lists, setting realistic deadlines, and using planning tools. By dedicating our time and energy to the activities that truly matter, 
we increase our productivity and our ability to achieve our goals. Resisting temptations and momentary impulses is another fundamental aspect of self-discipline. We live in a world full of distractions that can easily divert our attention from what is important. Practicing self-discipline involves the conscious choice to say no to these distractions, keeping our focus and energy on our priorities. This requires willpower and a long-term focused mindset. Self-discipline also manifests in how we take care of ourselves. Maintaining healthy habits such as a balanced diet, regular exercise and adequate rest is essential to sustaining our energy levels and concentration. Taking care of our body and mind provides us with the necessary foundation to pursue our goals with vigor and clarity. Finally, reflecting regularly on our actions and progress is a vital part of self-discipline. This practice of self-evaluation allows us to identify areas where we are doing well and those that need improvement. By reflecting on our successes and challenges, we can adjust our strategies and continue moving forward more effectively. Self-discipline is not just about constant effort, but also about patience and persistence. Even when we do not see immediate results, discipline helps us stay on course, trusting that our continuous efforts will lead to growth and fulfillment. 13. Adaptability and Flexibility Embracing change is fundamental to living a full life. Being able to adapt and grow with transformations allows us to face life with grace and resilience, recognizing that each phase brings new growth opportunities. Life is in constant change, and our ability to adapt to these changes is crucial for our success and well-being. Adaptability and flexibility allow us to face new challenges with confidence and find creative solutions to unexpected problems. These traits help us navigate a world that is always in motion, ensuring that we can thrive regardless of circumstances. Developing adaptability begins with accepting that change is inevitable. Instead of resisting changes, we should be open to them and see the opportunities they bring. Each change is a chance to learn something new and grow as a person. Accepting change as a constant helps us maintain a positive and proactive mindset. Flexibility involves the willingness to adjust our plans and strategies as necessary. This can mean changing direction in our career, adopting new approaches in our relationships, or finding different ways to achieve our goals. By being flexible, we can respond quickly to new circumstances and make the most of the opportunities that arise. Adaptability also involves the ability to deal with uncertainty. Often, we do not have control over external circumstances, but we can control how we react to them. Adopting a growth mindset and being willing to learn from each experience helps us face uncertainty with confidence and resilience. Facing uncertainty requires courage and a willingness to step out of our comfort zone. Developing these skills also means cultivating a mindset of continuous learning. We must always be open to new ideas and experiences, constantly seeking ways to improve and evolve. This can involve pursuing continuous education, reading new materials, attending workshops or exploring new activities. Each new experience contributes to our adaptability and flexibility, making us better prepared to face future challenges. Additionally, adaptability and flexibility help us build emotional resilience. When we face changes and uncertainties with a positive attitude, we are less likely to feel overwhelmed or discouraged. Instead, we see each challenge as an opportunity for growth and personal development. This emotional resilience strengthens us, allowing us to face life with renewed confidence. Fortentin, collaboration and mutual support. Sharing our fears and challenges with friends, family or mentors provides us with support and encouragement. External perspectives often offer valuable insights that help us see our fears in a new light. 
Collaboration and mutual support are fundamental to our personal and professional development. No one achieves success alone, and having a support network can make a big difference in our ability to face challenges and achieve our goals. Working together with others not only expands our resources and capabilities, but also provides us with a sense of community and belonging. Seeking the opinions and support of others helps us see our problems from different perspectives. Often, we are so involved in our own concerns that we cannot see obvious solutions. Having someone to trust can provide us with new insights and help us find creative ways to overcome obstacles. This exchange of ideas can be incredibly valuable, offering new approaches and strategies we may not have considered on our own. Collaboration also allows us to learn from others' experiences. Each person has their own skills and knowledge, and by working together, we can share these skills and knowledge to achieve a common goal. This not only strengthens our relationships, but also helps us grow and learn in ways we may not have considered alone. Working as a team can reveal hidden strengths and talents in each of us, making us more effective and efficient in our efforts. Additionally, collaboration creates an environment of mutual support where everyone feels valued and encouraged. When we share our difficulties and successes with others, we create a space where everyone can feel safe and understood. This strengthens our bonds and motivates us to keep moving forward, knowing we are not alone in our journey. Building a support network also involves seeking mentors and guides. Having someone more experienced to guide us and offer advice can be invaluable. Mentors can help us avoid common mistakes, identify opportunities and develop our skills more effectively. They provide us with an external perspective that is often necessary to see beyond our own biases and limitations. Finally, collaboration and mutual support are not just about receiving help, but also about offering help to others. When we support and encourage those around us, we create a cycle of positivity and motivation that benefits everyone. By offering our time, knowledge and resources, we not only strengthen our relationships, but also build a stronger and more cohesive community. 15. Inspiring and being inspired. Facing our fears and challenges can inspire and empower others. Showing vulnerability makes us examples of resilience and courage, motivating those around us to also overcome their challenges. Our journey of self-discovery and personal growth is not just about ourselves. We can also have a positive impact on others' lives. By sharing our experiences and achievements, we can inspire and motivate those around us to also pursue their dreams and face their fears. We become living examples of what is possible and show that it is possible to achieve our goals. Showing vulnerability is an important part of this process. When we are honest about our challenges and difficulties, we show others that they are not alone in their struggles. This creates an environment of mutual support and encouragement where everyone feels motivated to keep moving forward despite obstacles. Vulnerability connects us to others on a deeper level, creating empathy and understanding. Additionally, by overcoming our own fears and achieving our goals, we become examples of resilience and determination. Our story can serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for those facing similar challenges. By sharing our lessons learned and success strategies, we can help others see that it is possible to overcome any adversity and achieve their dreams. Each personal victory becomes a source of motivation for others. Inspiring others also means being open to being inspired. Inspiration is a two-way street. By learning about others' stories of overcoming and success, we gain a new perspective and motivation to continue our own journey. Inspiration can come from many sources, including books, movies, lectures, or simply observing the people around us. 
Each success story reminds us that we are capable of achieving great things, regardless of the obstacles we may face. The exchange of experiences and inspirations creates a positive cycle of growth and development. By sharing our stories and listening to others, we create a support and motivation network that helps us face challenges with renewed confidence. This strengthens our belief in our ability to overcome any obstacle and encourages us to keep moving towards our goals. Finally, it is important to remember that inspiration is a two-way street. By inspiring others, we also feel more motivated and confident in our abilities. The positive energy and encouragement we share come back to us, strengthening our self-confidence and determination to continue growing and evolving. The journey of self-confidence and personal growth is continuous, and each step we take brings us closer to becoming the best version of ourselves. Now, if any part of this message has been helpful to you, leave us your like and comment, helping the algorithm recommend it to someone who needs it at this time. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. And if you look through the videos we've already uploaded, you're sure to find something to take with you. Have a good day.